Awesome. Welcome back to another episode of Five Minutes With. I'm your host, Alex Alexander with Client Focus Media. Today I'm really excited to bring Brandon Schwartz from Schwartz Law Firm. You can find him online at SchwartzLawFirmPA.com. Welcome back, Brandon. How are you doing today? I'm excellent, Alex. Thanks again for having me. I really appreciate it. No worries. I appreciate being on the show. You know, uh, Brandon was on another show of ours. Uh, it's uh, the Ask the Attorney. And uh, we talked a little bit about him as he was, was coming up and, and becoming a uh, successful attorney that he is today. Um, I think today I'd really like to talk a little bit uh, about uh, about the you know Schwartz Law, um, if, if that's okay with you. That'd be excellent, yeah. Oh, awesome. So the very first thing people should understand, obviously, they want to go to SchwartzLawFirmPA.com. Um, one of the first things you're going to see is the fact that they, you know, their, their motto is, is tough cases for tough, I'm sorry, tough attorneys for tough cases. Tell us a little bit about the tough attorneys and, and how you guys uh, uh, respond to cases or how you work with cases. I think, uh, you know, we've often been described as aggressive uh, pit bulls that we're not afraid to take on the tough cases in the big law firms. You know, it's my dad and I, we're uh, partners in this together. My stepmom is our office manager. So it, it truly is a family business. And we understand that um, this is a, a difficult time that most businesses or individuals find themselves in. And they want to know that they got somebody that's going to go to bat for them and it's going to fight even when it's tough. And so that's, that's really a model that we've adopted. And I think it's what we've really become known for in our area of of fighting very hard, uh, aggressively, but also ethically for our clients. Something else I'd like uh, for people to notice on the website, uh, it's the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. And that's a, it's a Sun Tzu, it's a, like 512 BC. Uh, I, I, I want anybody and everybody to kind of go out there and kind of research that a little bit. But can you tell us a little bit about that, how that, how that works with your company, please? So my dad, uh, who's been an attorney since 1979, had told me that every year he reads The Art of War again because it's got application in so many different areas of life here in the law. I think it's one of the things that we found is The Art of War is basically preparing uh, to ensure that you come out victorious. And, and no matter what the odds or the elements are, um, it's also something that when we're talking about tough attorneys for tough cases, other attorneys that have had cases with us or against us know that we're going to fight, um, you know, tooth and nail if we have to, uh, and bring a case to trial if we need to. And not a lot of attorneys do that. So recognizing the, the what's taught in the art of war has helped us be able to prepare our clients to get the best result possible by taking into consideration a number of different elements. Maybe it's uh, the court that uh, the county that the case is pending in. Maybe it's the clientele, maybe it's, you know, the cost of litigation, whatever that ultimate goal is, taking into consideration all of those elements and utilizing them to get the best possible result that we can for our clients. And I, I would strongly suggest that everybody read the Art of War, uh, no matter what area of business they're in, because there are so many great lessons that can be drawn from it. I, can't, I couldn't agree with you more, man. So uh, I want people out there to understand that, of course, when you're going to SchwartzLawFirmPA.com and uh, you're going to be speaking with, hopefully, speaking with Brandon. Uh, you could be speaking with Father Bill. Let's, let's talk about Brandon here. Uh, let's say that uh, you need business litigation or shareholder, you have shareholder disputes. Uh, you guys are doing some sort of uh, business formation, like, like contract law, that kind of stuff would also be there. Construction litigation, that's another thing that, especially right now, uh, construction litigation is probably pretty pretty large. I don't know about your, your specific area, but I know there is in Florida and Texas and that kind of thing. So, uh, And then you guys do, do also a little bit of family law. Is that right? Yeah, the, the family law is primarily for clients we represented on the business side. So we're familiar with their business and how it operates. And making sure that although they may be divorcing from their spouse, that the business doesn't become, you know, a fatality of that. Uh, it's been very important for our clients to have somebody that is intimate with, with that. Uh, or on the other side, uh, if we're representing the spouse that is not part of the business, somebody that's got the knowledge of, you know, financials and to make sure that uh, the divorcing spouse isn't trying to hide assets or income. So in the big picture, anyone that has any sort of uh, business and they had any have business needs, whether it be, like I said, the litigation or formation or shareholders, these kinds of things, contracts, then I want you guys to reach out to Schwartz Law PA. I'm sorry, Schwartz Law Firm PA dot com. Get a hold of Brandon. 
And I want to thank Brandon for being on the show today. Thank you so much. I want to thank everyone out there for tuning into this episode of Five Minutes With. If you'd like to learn more about Brandon Schwartz from Schwartz Law Firm, of course, go to SchwartzLawFirmPA.com or here at IWantToBuzz.com. Do something good for yourself and do something good for others.